Energy uh, RTOG of 1119 clinical trials really trying to ask a question for HER2 positive uh, patients who have brain metastases. Does adding lapatinib to, to brain radiation improve their ca uh, cancer control in their brain? Um, you know, as we know, there's lots of good news in, in HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer in that we have increasing the number of agents that extends um, progression-free survival and overall survival, but there's still a high rate of failure in the brain for uh, HER2 positive breast cancer patients. And a significant portion of them actually die of intracranial or CNS progression. So it's clear we need um, better strategies for managing um, brain metastases in HER2 positive breast cancer patients. Um, the standard, a uh, long standing uh, treatment for brain metastases is, is radiotherapy, initially to the whole brain and now with stereotactic radiosurgery that just targets the cancer itself with, a very, with conformal radiation. Um, so this is a question really asking if we add lapatinib to these patients together with their radiation, can we extend cancer control in their brain? So women um, can have either whole brain radiotherapy or stereotactic radiosurgery, um, and then they take six weeks of um, lapatinib. Uh, there's three weeks of radiation if it's whole brain radiation, so they get the lapatinib with their whole brain radiation, um, and uh, then three weeks afterwards. And if they're having the stereotactic radio surgery, which is generally can be one to three treatments, um, they will get uh, they'll start their lapatinib prior to their SRS, and then continue it for six weeks. And then the end, primary endpoint is what the MRI appearance is at 12 weeks. And we're looking at, to have an improved, um, complete response to the brain um, as our primary endpoint.